Well, I'm a big old idiot. I put this. Shirt. It's supposed to be here. Shirt. How the heck did I do that? Well, instead of going all the way back down, because I'm not going to restack those, I'm going to use this as my flat surface, fill this in, and then I'll just build up over here and then move this guy over a little bit. Yeah, probably be the easier way to do it. That's too much work, stacking it, just to undo it all. I got this. Hey y'all, uh, I'm missing a bunch of footage. I was trying to figure out the fireplace because I, I built it way too big at first and I didn't have a, a piece to go over top that was big enough. Hold up. Shoot. You know, that one, the big slab. I just put a <clears throat> support wall up the middle of it. Um. And then use two smaller stones for the... That's going to bother me that I can't think of the name. Anyways. Uh, and then I got like a little oven over here. I doubt. I don't know. It's a pretty thick wall. So I don't know if it's going to actually heat up over there or whatever. But if not, then it's just a little cubby for some what tinder and junk. Whatever. Anyways, uh, it was going to be primitive, you know, fully primitive, but I'm cheating. I am going to go around that with rocks and cob and everything, but um, just to help hold it in place so I don't, so it's not as much of a struggle trying to find the exact right stone to stack wherever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. 
So anyways, I'm also going to be using like sawmill lumber just for a door frame uh, and maybe a window. I don't know. But it's going to be like mostly a primitive style. Just, you know, a little, a little extra thrown into it. Uh, just want this to go up fast, faster than later. I just want this to go up sooner than later because it's getting cold. And, uh, I mean, I've been staying in Bobby's cabin he's got built. It's just a matter of privacy and, you know what I mean, just... Having a little safe space. Safe space. <laughs> yeah. I don't need, a, like, that kind of safe space. Anyways. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's that at this point. Hearth. It's called a hearth. That's it. Yeah. Bye. So your mud dry. That's better. Yeah. It's lunchtime, man. Uh, they said something about going to the creek at 1 30. About 1 o'clock, yeah. I figure we go get something to eat and get ready to go. Oh, shit. Okay. Hell yeah. Just pack the rest of the mud in there. I done went to town, got shot out there, and got out there. Talking to me, hell, he got to talking to me about shit and that setting and stuff like that next year. And I said, well, you know, next year I'm going to have. Start putting out things, different things for 
sponsors, but I'm gonna have to see if I get people to start sponsoring for the whole year at different events. Right. Okay. That way, you know, if somebody say, "Well, for five hundred dollars a year, we're having seven events," you know, that way you can go ahead and have you know, a lot of stuff took care of. Right. Yeah, that'd be nice to have it pre-planned out for the whole year rather than by event. That way you know what's going on. You can prepare for it. Yeah. Like the year, not last year, not this, this past year, but the year, last, year before last, I went and did all of it, and I had uh, three picking on the pond series leading up to the festival for each, each year, year, you know. So well, I'm going to go back and get the, I'm going to come and let you know what's new. Yeah, I'll be right there. Repack this real quick. Primitive, 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 primitive. <sighs> keep it as primitive as possible. Just keep it as primitive as possible. These first two logs, uh, me and Bobby took them to took that log to the sawmill, chopped it in half just so I have a flat side to start with on each side, make it easier, a little more stable.
I stepped over this wall here and directly onto the axe blade. I had an axe ident. Well, we'll call that a video. Chainsaw died. Bobby's got the truck, and the truck has the gas in it. So, um, you get the concept. Building the wall. Plenty of videos on old style cabins like that. Except, uh, oh my god, gaps. The logs I'm using are too skinny to like really notch both sides of them. So, uh, can only get it down so far, which ain't too big of a deal. Just gonna end up, yeah, I gotta redo all that. That clay wasn't very clay, clay. That clay wasn't very clay. Uh, but yeah, just filling in with stones in between each layer and then cobbing it in. That's gonna add a lot of weight. But I'm trying to keep it as primitive as possible. I know I'm using a chainsaw. But you know, at the same time, I had good intentions. <laughs> ah, winter's coming fast, so I'm just trying to get this guy thrown up. And uh chainsaw's a little bit faster, so. But yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, let's see. Once these logs get up to the top of the chimney, I'm gonna have to, yeah, that one's a bit lower. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna start going straight across. That'll speed it up a little bit, not having to cut all the individual small ones. I'm waiting to go up further on the chimney. Uh,. Just because I want to get a log across here first so I can fill this in with rocks in between and make sure that, you know, I'm not putting down rocks that are going to be in the way of the log. Also, I need another piece of piping. I had one fire in the chimney and uh, it's letting out smoke. Maybe, maybe it's because all the wind coming on. I don't think so. Though. I think it's, I didn't, I didn't make it deep enough. It's decently deep, but not deep enough. So I'm a... I don't know. I'm going to figure... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to come out, extend the chimney a little bit more. And then come across lower so it can hold smoke up in there better. and That should do the trick. And so, yeah. 
We'll call that a video. Bye.